the quality and price so that's not enough there are so many other things that need to be taken into account measurement of productivity in service is more straightforward actually it's the other way so this will be false competitiveness so it includes productivity effectiveness doesn't include profitability profitability will be the outcome which of the following is not a type of operation so goods production is operation storage transportation is operation entertainment has operation communication has operations so the correct choice will be the word technology refers only to information technology that's not correct budgeting analysis of investment proposals provision of funds so this is basically finance the process of comparing outputs to previously established standards to determine if corrective action is needed so basically you have some standard you are comparing your output to that to decide whether some action will be needed so that is called controlling that's true that's a strategic operations management decision where to locate is true strategy includes both organizational and functional strategies so that's true 22 which of the following is not a factor of successful product and service design you need to have this aware of the comp what competitors are doing you need to know about the customers you need to know about what are the government regulations in fact you don't need to use computerized design techniques you can use so many other techniques and this is also needed so d is the correct answer product or services with a high degree of similarity of features and components are called product families concurrent engineering means at least two engineers are involved in product design that's not true so concurrent engineering means bringing together people from manufacturing and product design so that at the time of design feedback from manufacturing is available it is to promote alternate use of the product that's true delayed differentiation and modular design are tactics for mass customization that's true you have variable cost you have revenue of 75 dollars fixed cost is 50000 so the formula is profit equals revenue per prisoner times number of prisoners minus fixed cost and variable cost times number of prisoners so 6000 is correct answer term capacity refers to maximum quantity an operating unit can process that's correct this is your fixed cost so this is variable cost this is revenue so your equation will be increasing capacity just before bottleneck will improve the output that's false because unless the bottleneck is improved the whole process output will not improve basic question in capacity planning is what kind is needed how much is needed and when it is needed so all of the above for what range of output would you prefer to buy so let's say our break even for profit will be revenue times quantity minus you have the fixed cost for the buy decision plus the variable cost for the buy decision times quantity will be equal to fixed cost for m for make making in house plus variable cost for making in house times q so if you simplify this this is same as fixed cost for buy plus variable cost for buy times q is equal to fixed cost for make plus variable cost for make times q so for the simplification for buy fixed cost is 0 variable cost is 8 q and in this side you have 100000 plus 4q so if you simplify further 
you get q equals 25,000. So 25,000 will be the break even point. So you need at least 25,000 to really break even. And when you make more, then you are going to get the profits. So basically we can say that for the buy decision, the quantity could be from one to maybe 24,999. And for make, it could be greater than or equal to 25,000. So the question was, the output range when you prefer to buy so that's the answer 35 according to the reading on restaurant sourcing practices only fast food restaurants that's not true 